Okay, um, getting ready for Chicago. I think uh, Bob told me this is the sixth night game we've played there in the last, I don't know, since I've been here, fifth, fifth night game in the last uh, whatever number of years it's been. So uh, we've been there a few times before. Uh, it's always a, a tough place, good division, uh, good division game. You know, uh, they're, they're, they've got some terrific returners. They've had uh, two punt returns for touchdowns this year. Um, Grant's had four in, four in his career, I believe. Um, defensively, <clears throat> they're, they're very stout up front. Hicks is a, is a grown man. Um, Quinn is having a career year with, I think, 13 sacks. Offensively, I think Fields is playing really well. He's using his legs, can make all the throws. <clears throat> Lots of speed at receivers. Um, um, Montgomery, uh, very good, hard, tough runner. So uh, we need to we need to get on details here and get ready to go play. You've had everything from clocks going out at that stadium to just close games. Just what is it about that rivalry in that venue that makes you it? You know, fun? I think it's just a division game. You know, they're always tough. Uh, you know, all these division games are tough. We play them twice in the next four weeks. So. Um, but they do a lot of stuff offensively that keep you on your toes. You get some wildcat, you get some zone read, you get some, uh, um, you know, rockets and jet sweeps and all kinds of things like that. So they're a, they're a good team, and, you know, it's, it's always a tough road trip. What are some of the intangibles that make playing at Soldier Field difficult? You know, maybe it's the weather, maybe it's the turf. What are some of those things? Yeah, I think sometimes it's different all the time, you know. Um, I don't think the weather's supposed to be too bad. Somewhere in the mid 30s, I think, um, shouldn't be a lot of wind. But a lot of times it is, you know, <clears throat> different conditions. It seems like we typically play them late, late in the year there. Um, and I think the biggest thing is they got good players, you know, and so that makes it more difficult than the field conditions usually. In that game, how does that change the the dynamics as opposed to playing there during the day? Um, just, you know, sitting around the hotel, um, you know, that's always not fun. You know, you get up and get ready to go to the game and, and you got to wait six or seven hours. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, and then it's a difficult trip back, you know, coming out of O'Hare and, um, you know, so it's always, it's always the same every, every, it seems like every year we've been doing it. Is there something about like a quick turnaround? I mean, there's two weeks before you play them again that changes kind of your approach the second time around or no? It could just depends on you know what what they've done the first time, what we've done the first time. Um, you know, you might see something in the tapes that allow you to change change things up. Uh, you know, you typically try not to give them the exact same things that you gave them the first first time. Is it uh, is it harder to fluster a rookie quarterback like Fields when he has the mobility to sort of get out of tough situations? Yeah, I think he you know. I just happened to be watching him in the two-minute drill before I walked down here, and you know him being able to use his legs is always always a concern, especially with uh, you know you get him bottled up, and next thing you know he's he's out and out in space, and you got guys spread out all over the place, and then you got to make make a tough tackle on an open field runner who's a really good athlete. So um, you know, and they can you know get in some of the third and mediums, you know, and, and run the ball, run zone options, zone reads, and. Uh, things like that. So that always makes it more difficult when a quarterback can run. Did you study him much in the pre-draft process, and does that help once you end up playing him? Yeah, it's just such a, I mean, yeah, we did. But it's just such a different dynamic of, you know, I, I, I see his progression as from where he was early in the year to where he is now. Um, you know, I thought he played really good against San Francisco. Um, you know, early in the year against Cincinnati, I thought he played well. Um, trying to think who else. Um, you know, last week against Green Bay, I thought he did some good things. So, um, you know, they struggled a little bit in the second half. But, uh, you know, first half, I thought he did some really good things through the ball well. And, you know, and they obviously can run the ball. Uh, every running quarterback is different. But does having played Lamar Jackson this year give you uh, a little bit of preparation? Um, Maybe, um, you know, the, the offenses are different, though. Um, you know, that was that was a little bit more. Uh, I mean, athletically, yeah, they're similar guys, but the offenses were a little bit different. So I guess it gives you some, you know, you, you might have had some defenses in for Lamar that you might end up having for him.
Yeah, how are you seeing how they're using Justin as far as me? How are you seeing how, how are they using Justin as far as that mobility? Is it just basically letting him scramble or are they doing any kind of design runs for him? Or um, mostly it's scramble. They have some design runs, obviously, um, you know, where they where they bring an extra guy back and, and have his own read principle with it. Um, but uh, a lot of times it's, you know, he's taken off and, you know, it's not there. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when things break down, that's usually, usually when he takes off and goes. Special teams have been kind of a big turnaround for you guys after last year. I mean, you got some different players, but what has Ryan Ficken done from a coaching standpoint that's that's worked this year? Yeah, well, I think the, the biggest thing with Ryan is he's really simplified things. Um, you know, we might make some little tweaks here and there, but for the most part, it's been um, same kind of concepts all the time, and I think that's really helped. Um, you know, we've been pretty, pretty diligent with – um, trying to get the return game going, which I think we've done a much better job this year with both kickoffs and punt returns. Um, you know, he comes to me every week and talks about the different possibilities of fakes, and um, you know, we watch him on tape and kind <clears> of <throat> see what the opportunities are and you know where where they might be in during during the course of the ball game. How do you feel about your receiver depth now? And is it a case of maybe one of the practice squad guys you signed yesterday even could be called into action Monday? That's possible. We have, um, you know, we're still hopeful that Adam can play. Uh, um, you know, KJ's done a nice job this year. You know, I think uh, Smith Marset might be uh, in the mix this week. So we'll just kind of see where we are um, as we get closer toward the end of the week. Hey, Mike, do you guys do you guys have any indication how long you'll be in the enhanced COVID protocols here? I believe we're out today. Yeah. Any coaches affected by this? Yeah, Paul Gunther is. Uh, he's he's been out. Is he doing all right? Yeah, yeah, he's doing good. He's just, Time for two more. He's always doing good. That's, that's the only coach. Well, we got three strength coaches. Oh, right now, yeah. So who's who's handling the weight room? Josh, Josh Hingst. He's and then we've got we've kind of help had some other helpers come help. I volunteered, but they said they didn't want me. <laughs> As you look around it, you know, you know, the way that's going down now, you know, it seems this been a pretty big week. Is the NFL going to make it to the end without a cancellation of the game? They'll make it. Yeah, they won't cancel any games. I 100% for sure believe that. Like uh, the sack rate that Kirk has taken this year has been um, vastly improved from where it was last year. Uh, is that offensive line or something different he's doing? Like, uh, what do you see there? I think it's a combination. Um, you know, I think uh, we've we've had better protection. We've changed up the protections. Uh, I think he's getting the ball out when he he he's you know he sees pressures. He's getting the ball out. He's able to change the protection at the line of scrimmage. So I think all those things have been a big factor. But it's it's not just one thing. Um, you know, he he he's been really really good with knowing where where his hot hots are going to be uh, based on the route concepts and things like that as well. Okay, thanks.